Good morning, how are you? Oh, my pleasure. I'm Buck Branneman and I do horsemanship clinics all over the world. I've been doing them all over the United States for 30 years. And, and some folks are familiar with the style of horsemanship that I do as a result of the Horse Whisperer years ago. Nick Evans, when he wrote his book, he patterned the character of Tom Booker after me. And the, the nonfiction part of the story was was the fact that what Tom Booker did for a living is what I actually do for a living. And I'm in Pasadena doing a clinic this week, so I'm about halfway through it. The style of horsemanship that I do is, probably the best way to describe it is that if you ask the horse to help you make up the rules, how you'd get him to understand, that that's kind of how you'd approach it. You, you approach things in a way that you don't you don't make things happen, but you fix it up and let it happen to where your idea becomes the horse's idea. So it's based a lot on psychology and the horse's ability to learn and make decisions. And, and you discourage the horse from doing the wrong thing, but you don't punish him for doing the wrong thing. And you reward him and give him relief when he makes the right choices. And you think of trading a horse, maybe movement or certain exercises, and in return, you give him the one thing that he values more than anything, and that's peace. Well, if I was gonna give advice for a 10-year-old child, <clears throat> the best advice would be that I would be talking to their parents <laughs> because 10-year-old children are not in any position to make the kind of decisions that, that would be proper around livestock, and that's where the parents come in. And if you were gonna get a kid started on horses, number one, they need a gentle horse that's very experienced and number two, even at a young age, they need to start to learn how to operate a horse properly, get some education around good horsemen, rather than just put them on a horse and hope for the best, because it can be a wonderful thing to enjoy riding horses all your life, but it can also be dangerous if, the, if you're not looking out for your child. So you don't want to be cavalier about it. You take care of them and you teach them. And, I started teaching my daughter this style of horsemanship when she was five years old, and now she's as good a hand as there is anywhere, and, and you want to keep them from having bad experiences so that they don't get scared. Well, sure, the, the way I approach horses in helping them to understand and working with them and getting them sure and confident and understanding what I need them to do, that isn't any different than how I've approached our own children, and there are a lot of really interesting parallels between the two and it seems like when you are able to communicate with a horse in a way that he accepts you and understands you and has a good attitude uh, there's it's no different than how I might approach a, a child okay great thank you Buck. you're welcome